Hi, um, could you tell me the name of your space and your name? And we're going to talk about a couple pieces in the uh, space. If sure. You could. Uh, my name is Helen Myrick. I'm the director of Projects Gallery. We are based in Philadelphia, and we are at the Bridge Art Fair in Miami Beach. We are representing Tim Tate's glass sculpture work. Uh, Tim is a Washington, D.C. based artist mm -hmm. who has been working in glass for a number of years, and in the last two years he started working in video. Mm -hmm. So this particular piece in front of you is called Band and Burned. It is a hand-blown vase. Mm -hmm. The piece on the top is actually cast concrete. He often casts glass, but for this piece he cast concrete. So the idea of concrete sitting on hand-blown glass is sort of a dichotomy that makes many people nervous. Mm -hmm. This particular piece features ten books that have been banned over time for a variety of reasons. Some for freeing of slaves, some for homosexuality, some for witchcraft. Um, the artist purchased the ten books, burned the frontispieces pieces of all the books. He is so opposed to any censorship of any kind, he then reversed the video so that the books may burn backwards. Hmm. It's a self-contained installation. He calls it a video installation. Video art often requires a lot of space and a lot of big equipment. Uh, he's manufactured this so that it's all self-contained. It has an easy on and off button so that the um, viewer can watch it at their leisure mm -hmm. and quickly turn it on and off. Now, um, I, I read that he's uh, actually uh, still kind of uh, referred to as a glass artist, even though this is a mixed media piece. Uh, what are your thoughts on which way, he's, which going way go? he's going to go and what he would be uh, defined as a, if you had to do that. Well, he was at the fair this week, and one of the things I asked him is where he thought he was going to take his work, and he actually said he had very um, many ideas being here. His work is actually going to get bigger. Uh, in place, in addition to doing the video screens, he's going to actually put more glass, cast glass work inside mm -hmm. the piece. So he's talking about, for this particular piece, he's making it much taller, and he's okay. going to put a series of books inside, yeah. and other things on the top. So he's just really going to expand the idea. Okay. Um, this piece, the video, is also unique in that it has some color to it. He shoots the videos in full color and then reduces the color down, usually to black and white. But this piece, he chose to leave some of the fire in yellow. Great. We're actually with the art buyer, purchaser, collector who just bought this piece. Maybe do you want to talk about possibly why this piece this piece spoke to you or? Uh? Uh, yes, uh, my name is Mark Gordon. My wife and I uh, were quite taken with Tim Tate's work, and we looked at all the pieces, of which fortunately there were five uh, represented here by Projects Gallery, and uh, we found the work uh, unusual. Uh, video artists work in different ways, and. Uh, I find that a lot of the better artists are artists who happen to be doing video, which is, which is something you, you see in all art, that uh, talented and, and, and successful artists can work in many different media. And uh, this artist has now moved into video and his, he, has, he has a real talent for what he is doing. And when did you start uh, uh, we actually saw this piece. Well, okay. We actually saw this piece last year. Okay. He was represented by a different gallery who was not here this year. And we passed the piece by last a year ago. In the interval, we decided to start collecting video, and uh, we purchased a video piece, which is a simple uh, uh, plays on a uh, video uh, on a on a television screen. And we have recently installed in our home uh, 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 above our we have a little sit down bar, and above our we have mounted a flat screen uh, television in order to play these videos. And we are now, as part of our collecting, purchasing discs. And as a matter of fact, at another satellite fair here at Art Basel, Miami. We today also purchased a, a plain disc piece that we really enjoyed. Interesting. And that'll be plain as well. Now this piece will offset where we have our other video okay. in the house. And we are, uh, uh, we, co we like to collect a lot of young and emerging artists. My wife and I have been collecting for over 40 years. Wow. And we collect everything. We picked, with this, this fair, we bought a couple of small bronze pieces. Uh, we like to collect small because we've moved to a smaller house from our larger house. And we store less that way. Gotcha. And uh, the, the, uh, we collect uh, painting, drawing, sculpture, uh, and now video. Uh, Great. I, I think you have to uh, uh, be with the times. I think 
is some of the most uh, more quote unquote contemporary work I would suppose this well, type of video mixed media digital works or there's been videos been around for a long right. time now yeah uh, a lot of the video pieces are more monumental and large and right. higher priced I, I'm seeing that video is come quality video is coming down now and that's another reason we decided to start collecting. Great. Well, thank you. I appreciate your time. And um, I, By the way, I don't mean the work that's out is not yeah. quality. I'm simply saying that, that for the mass consumer, right. the well, art collector. You don't, you don't need an actual installation room to, to, to watch the piece with something like exactly. this. Exactly. Yeah. You don't need, you need a large theater room as, right. as the major collectors use right. for the very important video pieces that have been made up to now. Right. Uh, I'm not knocking those. I'm saying... Uh, vignette type video pieces are becoming uh, more available uh, in more galleries around the country and, and more accessible via the uh, the way you can watch it through the little monitors and little mp3 players and and the, the different types of technology that, that's out yes. there yes great thank you you're welcome appreciate your time appreciate it